In this example, we have a solar power company that's advertised a solar module that produces a maximum voltage and current of 36.7 volts and 7.63 amps, respectively. What is the maximum power the module can produce? Given information, we have voltage equal to 36.7 volts and a current I is equal to 7.63 amps. What are we asked to find is a power. So when the voltage is maximum and the current is maximum, we'll get the maximum power. Now what relationship do we know that relates the known information to the unknown information? We have P, V, and I, and that would be the power formula. P equals I, V. So since we know I and we know V, we are able to find P. So we'll write that P is equal to the current, 7.63 amps, times the voltage, 36.7 volts. And when I did that, I got 280 watts. An amp times a volt is a watt. And that's what we were asked to find in this example. Example 2. A certain 4-channel car audio system is rated at 18 watts per channel. What is the maximum current it will draw from the car's 12-volt electrical system? We're told to assume the audio system is 100% efficient. Of course, in the real world, this would be a very bad assumption, but for the purposes of this problem, we will go with that. So, our given information includes the fact that we have 4 channels. 18 watts per channel. The voltage is given as 12 volts. It's an automobile system and most of them are at 12 volts still. What are we asked to find? What is the maximum current? So we're looking for a current I. Now what is known that relates the given information to the unknown that we're trying to solve for? Well we have a voltage and a current and then watch in here is a power, so we know that power is equal to I times V, but we're trying to solve for I, and so we will rearrange that algebraically and write I equals P over V. Now, we know V is given as 12 volts, I is what we want to solve for, so we'll need the total power P, and we can see that if we take the number of channels and multiply it by the watts per channel, we will get the total power. So, 4 channels times 18 watts per channel. The channels as unit cancel, leaving us with watts as a unit, so we'll get power is equal to 4 times 18 is 72 watts. So, now we're ready to use this expression, I equals the power, 72 watts, divided by the voltage, 12 volts, and that's going to equal 6 amps. So that will be the maximum current drawn by this car audio system. Example 3. A 2 horsepower DC motor used to operate a conveyor draws 8.3 amps. What voltage V should be supplied to the motor? So once again we have a highly simplified problem. We haven't learned about DC motors yet and there are different configurations and so this problem is a bit simplified for our purposes uh, but we will go ahead and use the information that we know at this point to solve the problem. So let's talk about given information. We have a current equal to 8.3 amps and we have 2 horsepower. Now power is 2 horsepower and uh, we would not like to get that into watts. We'll do that in just a minute. Right now what are we asked to find a voltage? Now what information do we know that relates voltage to current and power? Well we have uh, the power formula in this version. Voltage is the power divided by the current. 
Now, when we use any form of the power formula, we usually think of power in units of watts, and we have units of horsepower. So we might remember, or we can look it up in a book, that one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. And that's something we could look up in a book if we didn't remember it. So the first thing then in our solution is we need to convert our power given in horsepower to watts. So P is equal to 2 horsepower times 746 watts per horsepower. And the horsepower units cancel, leaving us with just watts, which is what we want. And then 2 times 746 is 1492 watts. Now that's not what we were asked to find, but we're going to use this in a minute. So the second thing is we will then use this form of the power formula to solve for V, which is what we were asked to find. So V is the power, which we now know as 1492 watts, divided by the current, which we were given as 8.3 amps. And on my calculator, I get 179.8 volts or approximately 180 volts.